Hey guys and welcome back to another let's play uh, today we're going to play psychic force and we're going to go with story mode okay so we're going to choose a 15 year old girl called wendy i'm just going to let you know right now that the voice dubs are terrible my only sister is missing the only lead i have is a psychic named wong my search has finally led me to a mysterious organization called noah chris where are you? See what I mean? Now, I can understand from when I was little that the voice jobs aren't that bad, but today, considering like 22, it's terrible. You will upset the balance of the world with that power. I cannot let you use it. What do you want, old man? Leave me alone. So as you can see, they're fighting in a cubic um, transparent hey. box. Gravity has no power here at all, um, they fly around like it's nothing, and Wendy on the left has the power of wind, um, while Genma has the power of magic. Now considering many of the uh, powers that the rest of the cast have, oh, that was quick, um, I really don't understand why it was called Psychic Force, I'm pretty sure it should have been called Elemental Force. We're gonna see things like fire, uh, ice, electricity, light, and other things. I'm not too sure. Wow, Genma went down like a ton of bricks. I am going to need this power. Is it me, or does she remind me of you of an umpa lumpa? So I'm better call Willy Wonka and tell him that she's here. Psychic detected. It is my duty to kill you. I can fly like the wind, but you appear to be moving in slow motion. What the hell? That doesn't even make any sense. Ready? And what kind of comeback's that? I'm fast and you're slow. Yeah, but he's part cyborg. That's what his power is, by the way. Um, so if you want, he could kill you in two seconds, Wonder. It's crazy to think that this was made in 1996 now, it's about 8. And the AI um, is on hard, believe it or not. And they have a stupid ability of walking into projectiles like that. Like, that's called the Wind Vortex. And it's what, well, Gates as the computer has walked into that twice now. Ready? Go! Three times. Four times. Wind power. Wind power. Come on, Wendy, kick his ass. Come on! Five times, oh my god. <laughs> it doesn't matter how powerful the weapons are if they don't hit the target. 
again, the accent like ranges from the beginning to the end of the sentences. Hi, Wendy. Are you going back to Noah? <laughs> nice try. But Emilio calls me Wen, not Wendy. You imposter. Darn it. But I have duplicated the boy's power. So you don't stand a chance against me. How she can find out that Emilio isn't Emilio when all he says is Wend and not Wenda. Oh, Wendy and not Wen. One of them. Um, it's weird. Um, also in the manual they're supposed to be best friends. Or friends anyway. Um, but I find that hard to believe considering she's Australian and he's Russian. Um, also, the background is of a burning mansion or a manor or some kind and I believe that the story is that considering that Emilio is only 14 he can't properly control his powers so basically he goes apeshit and burns down his whole home and most of his town and he's considered an outsider and he just wants someone to love him I think he also killed his mum and dad, or his mum. Come on, Wendy, throw a house on him. Oh, there we go. Um, yeah, his mum and dad are, I'm pretty sure, dead. But he doesn't believe that they are. But anyway, that'll be the next uh, storyline that I go for. Um, this is also ported on the Dreamcast as well as the PlayStation. And... In my opinion, I like the PlayStation version better. It was the first, and although the Dreamcast beat it in terms of graphics and things, um, and yeah, it was. I just preferred it. Um, also, speaking of the Dreamcast, had numerous accounts of people um, saying break it broke, and this weren't being read, and mine included. Mine just wouldn't read any discs. I would play a game halfway through and then it stopped, but stop at different moments. So it wasn't the disc that was doing it; it was just the console. Sweet, Milo's down. Let's move on. If Emilio were as weak as that, he would be living a normal, happy life away from all of this. Again, that sounds awful. If Emilio were as weak as that, she sounds French, not Australian. Well now, how would you like to die? I could chop you up into little pieces, or simply crush you. You're mad! As your doctor, I prescribe a little wind to cool off that head of yours. Brad Kilston, who uh, controls gravity, has one of the funniest voiceovers I've ever heard. He's supposed to be German speaking English, so he's going to mix up his W's and his V's all the time. It's just fun. How the hell did that hit me? Anyway, I just thought it was really funny. Um, yeah, so he does gravity. Um, so he can pick up objects such as uh, bricks of mortar, creates magnetic fields like you can see now. Um, and he brings up planets to crush you with. Um, the video is going to cut short, so when we come back, we'll kick Brad's ass again. Um, hopefully not losing this round and we're going to find out what actually happened to Chris Ryan which is Wendy's sister so yeah when we come back um, we'll carry on with the story so I'll see you again Hello.